Welcome, Tiny Hands Big Dreams. So it's been a year and we are harvesting our yucca, also known as cassava uh, or some other things. So to get it to get it down, uh, we're actually using uh, some ratcheting tubing cutters that I had because we don't cut any more tubing, but it's really good for reaching down in, uh, down low on the stem and giving it a, a cut. It's got a, a solid woody stem. Now, yucca, is a delightful additive to soups and breads and things. You can deep fry it. Uh, it's an excellent source of calories, but it grows without any actual input from us. We're gonna show you that in a bit. So, cut that down, save that. We're not throwing that away. That's important, we'll get to that. Now, we have, I'll get you a little closer. There's another one. Okay, again, we're saving those. But that's not what you eat. There is uh, some screen. We have these all in, in black plastic screen. Now that is because we have ducks that really enjoy stripping the bark and killing the things. So, that's the only real thing we had to do for these. So we pull that out of the way. Now when you dig it, um, you, you wiggle the, the, the base there, and you have to kind of dig around carefully. There's What you're looking for is like a giant starfish tuber thing. Um, so you have to kind of, you kind of start wide. Sort of like digging a giant unipotato. Well, that would be a big one. Yeah, my It's kind of like fishing. You pull on you're like, oh, it feels huge, feels huge. How big is it? We're going to find out. So the soil you want, um, these things can grow in, gosh, garbage soil, terrible soil. Um, they really like sandy soil, though. So if you have some sandy soil, that's great. This wasn't terribly great soil in here. We're going to amend it with a bit of sand at the end. We have a basket uh, sand up here. And we're just going to spread that over and churn that in and replant. Oh, she's doing it. She's doing it. Oh, money. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you did that. You grew that. So, that's what you get in our climate, in our weather, um, and a total lack of sun for a year. We have had the least sunny year possible, I think, here. Which is, means we had, like, poo solar, and everything has grown incredibly slow. So, this is a small example. But you stick it in the ground, and that's it. There's, there's really nothing else you have to do. So we're going to pull all these off here, and we're going to get them weighed up. Now this is just one plant. We need to want something to actually cut these off with. Yeah, yeah, we'll get a different pair of cutters. Um, and we'll go ahead and snip all these off. And then uh, we'll get them cleaned up, and we'll get weights. Now we actually have 16 of these, which we stuck in here a year ago. Um, and it actually was sort of uh, over our path, and we had a... Just a, a beautiful arch, kind of a green over the path. All right. We're going to get them cleaned up. All righty. Much sweaty labor later. We have our yucca. Now, the trick is to get them out of the ground without breaking them. Which basically means pulling up on them, but not too hard. Wiggling left, but not too hard. Wiggling right, but not too hard. Digging around them, but not too close. Uh, this is where your, your sandy soil comes into play. Um, if you have a, it's a real sandy soil, you can just sort of wiggle them and, and pull them out of the ground. It's a lot easier. Um, the weeds on top don't, don't help either. So if they're broken, uh, it, it's okay. It just You're going to cut that part off when you, when you go to clean it. These are all going to end up in the freezer, and we're going to go ahead and replant. So, when you're done, you've harvested, 
you have your, your bounty. You're going to come in and you're going to take the stem. Now, people differ on, on how to do this. Um, 8 to 10 nodes uh, is a common thing. 14 inches, some people will say. Uh, it's not exact science. And you're just going to cut it. Now, boom. There you go. And that is what you're going to replant. Now, as you can see from what we pulled out of here, we're going to get, I don't know, a dozen of those. So each plant can turn into like a dozen more. And here's how hard it is to plant these. And we're out. <laughs> That's literally it. Uh, we're going to amend the soil with some sand um, and probably take the, the torch to all the weeds and, and just give a little cleanup to the area. But literally, if you stick it in the ground, it will grow. Some people say to stick it in at an angle. That's cool, but it doesn't work with our screens. Um, just don't stick it upside down. You can let the, the sticks sit uh, out. I've Gosh, I pulled them out of a field where they'd been laying in the sun for months. They still grew. All right, let's move on to the next part. All right. So let's see what we got here. We have the yucca. Comes in big pieces, comes in little pieces. Sometimes comes in broken pieces. That's just whatever. All right, so we got 47 pounds off of however many that was. I think it was like 16 plants, um, which is not a ton. It was a, the first use of that spot. It was, it was new soil. It didn't get a, a lot of sun. It was kind of a, a bad year for sun. And we had to knock a few trees down at the end there anyway. So the next one will probably be much better. And we're going to plant more. All right. Well, there you go. The easiest calories you can grow. Thanks for watching. See you for the next one. Come here. Hi there, puppers.